Hey everyone, welcome back. Blue Rise here. Today we're covering All Might. When we have three All Mights, we have Basic All Might, Six Star All Might, and then the Battle Royale All Might. So three All Mights to cover. So it might be a while. First, let's cover this uh, four star Basic All Might. His attack is Detroit Smash. This one is a tank version. 4,500 health is his only redeeming factor with 240. I mean, 2,400 defense being pretty pretty low. 150 SP when his attack costs 150 SP being this All Might is trash is what I'm saying. He has a lot of <laughs> he has a lot of attack, but there's better units than him. Kendo is a better five star. At five star, Kendo is a better four star than he is, and she can go to a five star, so she's even way better than that. But anyway, his characteristic is HP, SP, attack, all all things up by five percent. Next we have the six star All Might. We look over here. This guy is crazy. This guy is crazy strong. 6,000 health and attack. Absolutely amazing. 4,000 defense isn't bad either. Now, his attack is Carolina Smash, but when you see this um, C here, I believe that means you can charge his attack. The Deku I did before, he could charge his attack as well, but I did not know that. His attributes, HP, SP, again, 7% up. So he's just doing a step above what the basic All Might does. And then we have the last one, Battle Royale uh, All Might, who is the one from the USJ attack. Let's go over here. His attack is Royale Smash. And then his attribute is, I believe it's Heart and um, Intelligence enemies. He does 10% more damage to. You guys should know the triangle. You know, red beats green, green beats blue, blue beats red. But then normally you have purple and yellow who just beat each other. Well, he comes in the mix and says, hey, I'm going to beat you both up. That's pretty much what this All Might is doing. And this one is the defense type. So again, let's just cover the types again. I feel like I didn't cover this one. This is a balance, even though he he's a monster to be called a balance type. And then this one is a tank type. So the tank, balance, and defense type. Okay, something that's cool about these All Mights is that they all are wearing something different. Even this one and the 6-star one aren't wearing the same costume. But you can see it's kind of pixelated on the chest. Well, you know, it's forgivable, but still. Anyway, let's go ahead and take these out. Now, I believe most of these All Mice have the same combo. So, if that's true, look how much... I mean, he's doing good damage, because I have great gadgets, too. Plus, this isn't the third level. The third difficulty. But, you can pretty much gauge he's going to be doing quite a bit of damage. Again, though, the 6-star version is just way better at it. That's, uh... I, yeah, I believe they're all the same when it comes to combos. So, in fact, we're just gonna do this area itself. Excuse me, Deku-kun? Alright, I guess not. Let's go ahead and use our special, then. I just wanna use our special, and then we'll move on to the other All Mites. You know, we can make this way more faster. We don't have to waste our time. So, let's go ahead and use this. Okay, it's a punch. Cool enough. And this one, I don't think you can hold it, so we're not gonna try. Alright, cool. Well then, I'm gonna see you guys for the next All Might. See you then. Okay, we're back with the Battle Royale All Might. I decided to save the 6 star one for last, because why not? So, if you look here, yep, all the combos are pretty much the same. So we're pretty much just gonna look at this one's ultimate, ultimate, special attack, and move on from there. Because they all have the same one. All Might doesn't attack, eh, I guess he attacks fast enough. It's not like Nomu. Nomu was slow. I just don't see any benefits from Nomu whatsoever. And I'm glad I'm talking about when this is the All Might that beat him. So, let's try to get Deku to finish these guys off. And then use it. Here we go. It's unfortunate that the range is pretty... It's, it's piss poor, to be honest. It's bad. It's not good at all. When you're here, and say you just do it, and you're just hitting at one angle, you're not going to get anything done. Nothing is going to be accomplished. Yeah, maybe an enemy is going to run into your way, but you're just going to waste your SP, unfortunately. When I was using him a lot during the uh, Mogi Mogi battle, like, it just wasn't helping that he would just miss Mineta all the time. Now, of course, that is on timing, too, but he's not moving, and it's very narrow. It's not as wide as I thought it would be. Or even that you would think it would reach. So if we just kill this guy real quick. 
Let's try to hit all three of these guys. Of course he would turn. But he hits sometimes the enemies behind them. But that's it. There's no shockwave ahead. So that's the weakness of the special attack. It really doesn't have great range. Now he is doing multiple attacks. And this All Might doesn't have uh, a lot of um, attack power as like the other All Mights. Because he is a more defensive character. He's got more uh, defense other than attack. So he's really meant to stick it through, you know. Same with the Nomu fight. Alright, with this, we don't have to fight the boss with this one. We're going to go ahead and move on to the last All Might. I'll see you guys there. Okay, so this is the last All Might. It's, uh, I'm not sure. I think that Suyu called it Silver Age or Golden Age. One of the two. You know, like in comic books. But we're going to go ahead and try to finish off the rest of this map. So, this is one where you can hold it. You see this? This is what it means by hold. You can charge the attack. And then you can let out a good, good smash. I wish more characters had something like this. Or some sort of... Ouch. So you can get staggered out of it. Which is a shame. That sucks. But... Let's see. Yeah, and all the same combos. Maybe we'll get a new All Might with new combos. Hopefully. I... No, nah, I, I doubt it. But, you know. I can dream. There we go. And take these dudes out. Let's uh, use his smash attack. Once we get enough enemies in range. There we go. There you go. Great. I believe... What attack did he use at all? I think it's an attack. I could be wrong. I don't think it is. It looks familiar, though. Go ahead and uh, ruin these guys and get, the, get them out of here. Get out of the way. There we go. Because I am here. Oh, my. Oh, boy. I believe we're still going to get a true form all night. I'm not sure how that's going to work. Maybe... Yeah, I'm not really sure how it's going to work, because it's not like he can fight in his true form. I guess we'll just have to wait and see. As I said, there's a gadget for it out there, um, and it doesn't work with this all night. Unless they make it work with it later, but even then... Where's the enemies? There you go. Let's use it again. This one's pretty good. It smashes through all of the enemies, which is great. Let's go. Great. Take you out. And we're done there. So we're going to try to finish the final guy in one hit. The smash attack. So we're going to kill some of his... Actually, we don't have to kill some of his body. Just grab some of this. There we go. Let's try to get him in range. Get out of my way. No, I meant to kill him in one hit. Whatever. It would have killed him. For sure. Watashi wa kita! Oh, Oskare. Okay. Okay, so now let's cover the All Might to see what kind of gadgets that will, that will work best with these guys. Now, this All Might, basic All Might, attack. Go for attack. I think he's just best as a glass cannon. There's not much else you can really do with him. He has okay health and okay. Maybe increase his health and increase his attack. But I don't think you really have to touch up on his um, defense that much. This one, I think you would go best for doing... I believe it's Ida's. I think it's Ida's item or something else, but it's a glove. And it increases your critical rate. Go for that one because if you can get more critical attacks in between his special attack, when you have an enemy pinned or something, that's going to do even greater damage. And then go for increasing his attack as well. Because he has good defense and he has good health. So increase his attack. And then this All Might, you really don't have to do too much for him. If you have the All Might gadget itself, like the little sticker of him, even better, because it will just make this guy a monster. He already does crazy damage, he has a lot of health. He's all around good, if you just happen to get this All Might, use him when necessary, because he'll help you throughout most of your troubles, that's for sure. So that's all for the All Mights. They're all, they're okay. I shouldn't say that. Obviously the 6 star All Might is god tier. The Royale All Might, if you don't have anything better, because if we go here with Kendo, let's look at Kendo real quick. She almost has 5,000 attack. She's a pretty good attacker. I would pick her over this All Might, that's for sure. As far as the Royale All Might, he's not my favorite. He gets the job done when I want to survive for a while. Overall, the best of the All Mights, for now, is this one. I believe we're going to get one more, but I don't think it's going to be anytime soon. It's going to be way, way, way later down the line. 
where this All Might will be the top of the top. I believe this. Unless they come up with some event All Might, that's going to be crazy. And I'm sick of saying his name now. So I'm just going to say Toshinori. If you guys haven't figured that out yet, watch the show. But, uh, Toshinori. Anyway, I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.